Hello, my name is Martin. I was born in Switzerland about four to three years ago. When I grew up, I pretty soon realized that, that I'm different than others. I was more sensitive and more curious of, of uh, the depth of life, which was a bit unusual to me, like that as a little boy. So my grandmother, she realized that and she took very well care of me. She was very spiritual. She was uh, big in the Catholic Church that was around in Switzerland. So she taught me a lot and uh, we prayed together. I really had a very good relationship with her. She took great care of me in uh, the physical sense and also in the spiritual sense. And lots of love I received. She's very fond of it. Well, I didn't really like school. That was not so much for me. And, well, it was difficult for me. One thing is, uh, you know, when you see and hear the people say one thing, but I could feel that actually it's different than what they say. So they're not always quite honest and try to tell really how it is. So that was quite confusing. So then later in life, when I made my own decisions, I uh, started to go on the way of spirituality. So Catholic Church was a bit tricky for me because there is uh, the priest, the one guy that basically tells you what to do. And I didn't like that very much. So then I started to explore other things. I uh, went to Thailand, for example, and I joined for three weeks. I was in a monastery, in a Buddhist monastery. So I learned a lot about Buddhism. And what I really liked about that is that what they said is like, well, you have everything you need, you have it yourself. You just need to develop it. So that put actually the responsibility back into my lap, which I really liked and it changed a lot. And then I felt like, well, if I have everything in me, then and I can develop that, then I better can do that. So I did. So I read a lot of books. I did a lot of courses in Switzerland. I started off with uh, spiritual courses, with meditation classes, with uh, prayer circles, and love and mediumship. I joined a spiritual circle, mediumship, and very sensitive. Felt more comfortable and more comfort than in my soul. So then the search continued on. When I went to the internet, I did whatever course I could find that would interest and there were a lot of courses. So I did that for quite some years. And then I met some guys in, they were in Germany. They were uh, spiritual Christians. They were really great. What they did is, in the Indian language, we would call it a Shakti Bhakti. In the Christian language, it has a difference. But in the end, it's not the same, but it's very, very similar. So I started to work with these guys and they helped me a lot and a lot has changed for me. Let's say before it was more like open, an open field basically. So I would like read all I could find and well, that I liked and then I would do courses from things I liked and then with the, the meeting of the German guys it kind of got narrowed down because from all the other experiences I had, these were experiences that went much deeper. And then one day, I was searching in YouTube, as I usually do, and then at one point, I found uh, a guru, a teacher, uh, Dr. Bohr, that was doing amazing things with these people, and I could not really believe what I saw. I realized it's similar to what I have been doing in Germany, but not the same. So I was really interested, but however, how life is, I forgot to save it. And then one day I find myself in meditation and I was meditating for about half an hour. I was in very deep meditation. And then at one point it made duck. And then I came up, I was like, okay, now I search for the video again. I searched for the video again of Dr. Gore and I found it within two minutes. I found the video. I looked at the music that was played. I wrote down the name. I found, oh, there is an internet page. So I went to the page and I see, oh, there is online meetings. He does online Shaktipat sessions. Shaktipat was a word I did not yet uh, realize what it was. So I looked it up and then I booked the session. The session was very good, but I could not quite fathom what was happening because there was quite a lot happening, but I could not 
grasp it or put it into words or like for me understand really what was happening. So I booked another session, another session and another session and then I started to realize what was happening. It was the past life deeds or seeds or some scars that were leaving me and they were quite heavy. Before the session I felt like normal how I feel and then after the session I felt like you know it's like when you have a backpack on your back that you carry your whole life not realizing it and then after the session you realize that a few stones have been taken out of it and you feel much lighter so you're like not sitting like this anymore you're sitting like this with with ease and then I felt like in life directly after the sessions that life started to change like things got easier Difficulties just went away, uh, blockages just cleared themselves and I was working on myself hard the past 20 years and that was astounding and amazing to me that this could like change so rapidly even though I have been working on it for 20 years and it did change but it changed you know step by step slowly the way it works but then with the session of Guruji uh, it changed uh, very fast so I was pretty much amazed and then I continued the sessions and I saw oh I can do private sessions as well so I started to do private sessions and then I could ask a question or two which was uh, very beneficial to me in order to understand the process and then I started to read the book uh, God Speaks about Meher Baba that was recommended to me it also is recommended on the webpage then starting to learn more understand more about these things and how they work so I could like have the theory and then the practice with Shaktipat and the feel direct in the life like what, what was changing, a lot was changing. So that was, for me that was very very amazing. I'm with Guruji now for three and a half, four years I believe. I uh, would have liked to see him in India, in Shivpuri and booked a flight and then the, the Covid hit, so it got delayed for almost two years. I went to, flew to Delhi and Guruji was just coming back from the mountains, picked me up in Delhi and we went back to Shivpuri and now we are in Dharamsala and it's just have been an amazing experience. It's difficult to describe in words really. It's, it's even difficult to fathom what, what really happens. It's an amazing experience and a lot of these samskaras have left me and I can feel that directly in my life. And yeah, that was with my spiritual journey until now. And I would say what I got out of it is, or one part of it is, what I also started to do is uh, daily prayers, daily meditation. So the daily meditation for me is very, very important because it helped me a lot to calm down, like to take yourself, to unplug. So I really needed that like every day for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It was also a recommendation of uh, Guruji to calm down. And also in the meditation, what's happening is that your consciousness starts to grow, right? Like in the Shakti part, in the meditation as well, your consciousness starts to grow and in the end that's the that's what you want is your consciousness to grow because everything is about consciousness it's not the reality that makes a difference it's the perception of the reality and how we are able to deal with that reality that makes a difference and the shakti path helps enormously with that and then the meditation is something that i can do at home outside of the sessions with guruji do the AD, which I do. With the Shakti Pad as well, I soon started to realize that my meditation states, they started to change much faster. So meditation as well is a progression, right? For example, before, for example, when something bad happened, I would probably get frustrated or angry or all these feelings. And now it's much easier that even though, for example, exactly the same thing happens, I can have a totally different emotional response to it. So that's a major quality of life issue, right? If you have that, or if I have that, then like the quality of life increases dramatically because that's what makes a difference. So if I would summarize my spiritual development, I would say I was searching for some time and, you know, read this and that and did these and did that. 
And then every course and every book, it got everything got more efficient, more direct. And then at the last step, I met Dr. Gore. And since then, I'm staying with him. Yeah, it's very efficient. I haven't seen anything as efficient as that. And I'm doing that for quite some time now. <laughs>